I originally got interested in fungal mid drumming when I met a Uruguayan jazz musician. I was working on a cruise ship and one of the other musicians was from Uruguay and I was talking to him about how I always wanted to, to learn more about Uruguayan music and maybe even travel to Uruguay. He gave me some recordings and showed me some of the basic rhythms and that kind of wet my whistle and got me interested in it and then from there I it sort of took off from there. I traveled to Montevideo, Uruguay with a grant from Partners of the Americas and my project was to study candome drumming and then to as a follow-up to bring it back to Montevideo, Minnesota and share it with the community here. fortunate to study with, among other people, Alvaro Salas, who is the director of the Candombe School of an organization called Mundo Afro. Estoy con mucho asombro de encontrarme acá en Montevideo, Minnesota. I'm very surprised to be here in Montevideo, Minnesota. La verdad que no conocía. The truth is that I didn't know about this city before. Y cuando justamente me encuentro con el prócer José Artigas, when I saw the statue here of Artigas, eso para nosotros es mucho orgullo. This is a huge source of pride for us. Y más Uruguay. para el afrodescendiente. And even more for Afro Uruguayans. This would be the first time, definitely, that a master drummer has traveled to Minnesota, without a doubt, actually, in Uruguay. There are a lot of people who may consider themselves master drummers, but really I think that's a very small community of people who are truly on that level of playing and understanding of the history and the culture that is Kendom. The relationship between Montevideo, Minnesota and Montevideo, Uruguay goes back a long time. At some point early on there, were, there was an exchange of flags between the two cities and that sort of um, started the, the communication and the relationship, but then what really solidified the connection between the two was in the late 1940s when Montevideo, Minnesota received a gift of Jose Artigas, a statue of Jose Artigas, who's the national hero of, of Uruguay. huge statue that's still in our main street today. Since that time, it's sort of each year, it seems like it's, there's always new people coming and new projects being brought forth. Now music is the thing that I'm trying to promote as the next sort of piece of the, the exchange. That's an incredible connection. For me, I see when I think about parallels between Montevideo, Uruguay, and the United States in general. It's, it's incredible to me that this connection exists. Uh, and I imagine it was, it was based maybe on something very different than the music and art, especially Afro-Uruguayan art. So now that that's making its way here, I mean, that's just incredible. The Fiesta Days Parade this year was really special and unique because we had the first ever Shamada drum performance of Uruguay and Candombe. And so a Shamada is, it literally means a call. And in Uruguay, a Shamada is a drumming, a spontaneous drumming performance that usually takes the form of a parade. And then there's also a more, um, there's official parades where it's more formal and people get dressed up and then that's where we add dancers. and Candombe is Afro-Uruguayan music, dance, art, culture. What I found in interviewing and just experiencing that music for nine months while I lived there was that what is central and defines candombe are these three drums. That without these drums, you might be talking about some other African-based art form. 
Uh, but when you mention candombe, you're talking about drums and how they have inspired Uruguay in a lot of ways. What I think is important about bringing candombe here is just one, raising awareness of one, I think, the music, the culture, but also I think it, the overarching theme for this, and especially important to the United States, may be that Montevideo, Minnesota could be a catalyst to sort of propel these kind of discussions, even just race relations in general, and seeing how music is a vehicle to kind of bring communities together sometimes. That's what's beautiful about this being here, is maybe Montevideo gets us started talking in a healthier way again. Para mí es importante estar acá. It's important for me to be here because y transmitir lo que es la cultura afro. And it's important for me to transmit what is Afro-Uruguayan culture. Para ustedes y para mí es algo histórico. Because for everybody from Montevideo, Minnesota, and for him, it's something historic. Y es un gusto. And it's a pleasure. Un honor. It's an honor. Traer el arte. To bring Afro-Uruguayan art Acá, Montevideo, to Minnesota. Montevideo, Minnesota. Musically, I love Kanome because it's, it's, I'm a drummer, and I come from, uh, my first background was in rock music and then jazz, and I've always been fascinated with rhythm, and recently it was getting involved in world music, and so I discovered Candombe, and it instantly was just very funky and very organic and very powerful, and that's what, why musically it's so powerful to me, and then I think it took on another dimension uh, in terms of being meaningful just with the connection that I have to, through this sister city relationship with Montevideo Uruguay.